Hi, my name is Elise. I'm the Left Brain Intuitive, and I'm wondering if this intuitive message is for you. Today's message is for a woman who has a stabbing pain in her back. It comes and goes. It's not always there, but it's pretty consistent, and it's not healing. So this particular symptom is triggered by a specific event. And the event in question was that you felt, (laughs) the body is so literal, you felt stabbed in the back by someone. And I think as soon as I said that, you know exactly (laughs) the memory I'm talking to. It's a, in your energy, this memory is just bright red. It is so pulsating, you know, inflamed infected. It's a memory that, that it's an event that really has taken a toll on you, where you felt deeply betrayed by another person. They stabbed you in the back. And the pain developed around that time, but for another reason, meaning maybe you hurt your shoulder or maybe you slept funny. And, and this was the physical reason, but the root cause of why it's not healing is has to do with That stabbing in the back feeling. And just that moment of clarity where you can link these two things that are otherwise unrelated, seem unrelated to our logical mind, the conscious mind, but subconsciously they are related. And as soon as you connect these two things, so the the feeling of being stabbed in the back and the physical pain, notice there are two sensations, right? Because intuition doesn't communicate in words. All the subconscious information that is stored in your hard drive, your body, which is what I'm reading, I'm reading your energy, which is the magnetic field around your body, kind of like a hard drive, (laughs) a solid state hard drive. So all that information is subconscious and it's not encoded in words. It's not. It's, It's sensations, it's images, it's smells, sounds, that's the way that this information is encoded in there. Just like, you know, your DNA information is encoded in your body in a very particular way. It's not words <laughs> that remember, you know, whether or not your great-grandmother had blue eyes, but but your body does remember that in your DNA. And the subconscious information that has to do with our life experience is stored in somewhere in our body, as a memory, but it's not stored in words. So the sensation of being stabbed in the back and the physical pain that you experience around, I feel your shoulder blade, they are both coming from your subconscious, their link there, the link between them is there. But as soon as we bring it to consciousness, we have a moment of clarity. Ah, they're related. And this symptom that you have once in a while that gets triggered once in a while is because there's an echo in your life sometimes from a similar feeling. So I wouldn't call it stabbed in the back, but let's say you feel betrayed a little bit by somebody. You'll get the stab in the back feeling because it echoes the deeper wound, the original wound. It echoes. Or even if you think they're lying to you, right? That we're getting, we're drifting further and further away from the original trigger, but it's still related. You feel somebody's lying to you. Maybe you're not sure you're going to have the pain in in the shoulder blade because it's an echo of that original wound. Now, the only way for this symptom to really heal is for you to go back to the original wound. Sometimes a wound like that, you know what it needs? It just needs to be aired out. You know how you you put a Band-Aid over a wound and eventually it's healed enough that if you take the Band-Aid, it's going to heal faster because the contact of the air with the skin, you know, will make a scab and then the skin will heal. But if you keep it wrapped up and never airing it out, it's going to stay mushy and then it will infect. And so airing it out is sometimes all that a wound needs. And I, I feel this is the case here. So my intuitive message to you is that if this resonates with you, what I've described, here's something that you can do. 
Do you remember the original event where you felt stabbed in the back by someone else? I'd like you to write down that event as if you are vomiting on paper. <laughs> to write down not just what happened, but how it made you feel and how you understood this. What is your perspective? And then I'd like you to also go deeper into the parts that I feel are infected, which is, what did you think of this person? You can be mean. You can be unfair to that person. Let's get that on paper. Let's air it out and write about that. And you can write as much as you want. This is just for you. You're never going to send that to anybody. If you're writing it on paper, don't keep it in the house. Write everything, vomit everything, and then destroy the evidence. <laughs> But rather, what I mean is don't leave that energy in your house because it'll poison you again. So go put in the trash outside in the recycling. Get rid of it. Burn it in your fireplace. But so that you can know that this is totally safe for you to be mean, to be angry, to really purge this wound and air it out and let it breathe. Just doing this will transform the link between the subconscious information, the original event, and that physical pain. It might not go completely away. I can't tell, you know, I can't predict the future, so we have to wait and see what happens when you do it, but it might. That might be all it needs. Or it might actually improve the symptom enough that now there's something else that you can do to keep moving into your healing. But this is the step that you take where you're not stuck anymore. The one step that you take where you're not stuck anymore. You just write that letter. And from there, everything is possible. All right, that's all I'm getting for you today. I hope this was helpful. And if you like those messages, I would love to have you on my intuitive community for logical women at lovebrainintuition.com. See you there.